Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware. This is Steven Taylor, director of our rental division. One of the things that's just awesome to, when you're a rental company is that we can walk out in our shop and find so many different boilers um, and find different parts on it. Now, keeping with our theme, we've been talking about some common things on a boiler and we're going to be talking about the McDonald Miller uh, today. So, uh, Steven, this is an electric boiler. Um, we have our McDonald Miller here. Why don't you take us through of, of what, does the, what does the McDonald Miller actually do? On um, this particular application, the McDonald Miller is used for a couple of things. One, um, <clears throat> we've got the sight glass here so they can see the water level in the water at all times. Uh, the other thing that it does, it has a float in here, float mechanism, and that has two functions. One, it's the primary low water cutoff, so when the water level drops, you know, typically right about here, it'll shut the boiler off. And, this, and the, the other uh, application is that it's, it operates that feed water pump. So when the water level drops to a certain point, you have a float in there, it drops down, makes a switch, turns the pump on. When the water level gets back up, it makes another switch, turns the pump back off. Okay, now this is obviously a vertical, so on a fire tube, what's that low water? What it, where, are they, where are they actually going to, where it's going to kick off? Typically, the low water will be an inch above the tubes, an inch above the, the water level where you want the, the water above the tubes, mm -hmm. but it varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. They let the manufacturers decide where that needs to be. Okay. All right, so uh, internally, um, kind of looks like the uh, your toilet. Yeah. <laughs> so toilet why don't float. you talk yeah. a little bit about why why the float? Uh, uh, the fl float has been this design has been used for well, I worked on this in the '80s, so it's been here for forever. Uh, it's a very simple mechanism. It's extremely. Um, uh, Reliable, it just you just don't have much go long, go wrong with it. The mm -hmm. biggest problem we see, at least in the rental division, is that they'll they'll drain this boiler down when the job's over with, shut that header valve, open the drain valves, and pull a vacuum and collapse that that ball. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest problem we have with them. Other than that, they're pretty much maintenance free, um, trouble free. We don't have any problems with them whatsoever. And this basically just. Fits just like that. So fits just like that, and, and when the water goes up and down, it raises that up and down again, just like the float in your in your toilet bowl. It's the same same concept. Now the McDonald Miller can be used in other areas. Um, this is typically a commercial light uh, light industrial. Commercial light industrial. 250 pound design is pretty much max. So if you get above that, then you have to go to a different different manufacturer, different design. Um, that that's where it's used in, in the commercial light industrial. This is, a, this is an on off head, so it's, so it's either, you know, it, it makes a switch inside this head to turn something off, typically a pump or the low water. The other thing that they have is a, uh, a head that goes on here to operate a modulating feed water valve. So mm. you have a feed water valve that, that you know, that opens and closes slowly. This, this has a wiper arm in it that, that does the same thing mm -hmm. and, and operates that feed water valve. So that's the other other head that you can put on here for these boilers. Now it's not only on um, the boiler. I mean, so no, what, where else is it? Yeah, uh, we have them with a the modulating valve on our a modulating head on our feet on our deaerator tanks. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also use a different style. It's still a McDonald Miller manufacturer. Still has a float in it for level switches on the deaerator tanks. High level, just to give you an alarm, let you know the water level's too high, something's going on. Low level to let you know, hey, water level is getting too low. And then we have a low, low level that actually shuts the pumps off, so we don't burn the feed water pumps up. Mm -hmm. I've seen sometimes where there's two. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, that's what it is. Okay. One of them is a low level to give you an alarm. Right. The other one actually shuts a feed water pump off, which, okay. is, which will shut the boiler off as well. Okay, and on the, um, you, you said light um, commercial, or commercial and light industrial. Mm -hmm. um, so when we go into that water tube side here, the McDonald Miller doesn't go there. No. Okay, so no. What, what are they typically using? They're using, a, typically it's a Clark Reliance. That's, that's the biggest name in the industry for, mm -hmm. for that higher pressure unit. It's a Clark Reliance. Typically a probe type for the primary, and then a float type for the for the secondary. Okay. That's that's normal throughout the industry. Okay, been around a long time and uh, still doing very well in the boiler yep. rooms. Um, so uh, check us out next time. Maybe come over to theboilerwarehouse.com. You can actually check out the McDonald Miller and pick you something up if you need it. Um, but we'll see you next time on the Boiling Point. Great information on one of the more common parts in the boiler room. The McDonald Miller, and as you can see, we have a whole row dedicated with McDonald Miller parts. 
if you would like or need, obviously it's getting cold. If you need something, make sure you get out there to boilerwarehouse.com. It was 39 degrees this morning, so make sure your boiler rooms are ready for the winter. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter if you don't mind. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, share those videos. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.